Pleasure. Welcome to my home. I'm your host, Steve Savlov, and we're in the home of Young and Pearl Lee, and they are from uh, South Korea, and they're going to talk a little bit about their background and uh, what was like growing up in South Korea and what was like coming to the United States. So let's start with uh, you, Pearl. Yes. Um, <laughs> can, you t can you tell me a little bit about what was like growing up in South Korea? What's the name of your uh, hometown? Well, I was born in the city called Daegu, which is south of Seoul. Mm -hmm. And uh, sh shortly after I was born, uh, my father was uh, hit by a, a North communist student and he got very, very sick and never recovered and he passed mm. away. Oh. So it was uh, during the war time and Daegu had a lot of, uh, because Daegu was surrounded by the mountains, mm -hmm. all these uh, communists were hiding in the mountain during the daytime and then at night they would come out and mm -hmm. they would uh, go after their targets. And unfortunately, we, uh, my father was one of the targets. And um, as I remember, it was a very confusing time in our history. Yeah. And uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, families that lost their fathers and the, and the, uh, the mothers too. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I, I remember not, I, I didn't have a, a really vivid memory because I was very, very little. Mm. And then later on, we came to Seoul, to, which is the capital city. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my mother always felt that we need a good education. And for women to move on, advance in their lives, we need to get the Western education. So he, she encouraged uh, my sister and I both go to U.S. and to study. So I came to U.S. right after high school. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, do you have any memories of what it was like? You said wartime um, and the communists were out up mm -hmm. in the mountains. Uh, do you have any memories of what it was like for you? Well, my uh, childhood memories are very vague. And uh -huh. I know that uh, my mother had to really work hard to struggle to mm -hmm. support the family since mm -hmm. uh, uh, we didn't have the father. Uh, but my favorite memories when I came to Seoul, mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot bigger city. And the, the schools that I was sent was run by foreign nuns. So oh. uh, I lived in a dormitory and it was just like a foreign country. Oh, okay. Yes, and I was there for six years uh -huh. before I came to U.S. And that's where I learned uh, English by uh, British nuns. And those were my... Uh, very pleasant uh, childhood memories. Good. Yes. And you said your mom had to work very hard. Uh, what did she do? Did well, we she, she became a nurse because at that time, women had a hard time getting a job, although mm -hmm. she was uh, studying piano, mm -hmm. uh, but she could not continue her education. So then at the time, she decided to come to U.S. There were a lot of opportunities for scholarships because Korea was a developing country. Mm -hmm. And the WHO was very deeply involved with uh, Korean uh, public health, uh, health. So okay. she was able to get a scholarship and came to the University of Hawaii. Oh. and uh, was able to get a master's degree in public health nursing. Wow. And so when she uh, returned back to uh, Korea, she was like a liaison person for WHO and Korean government. Okay. And they set up a lot of, uh, you know, pilot programs right. for the public right. health. Yes. And Young, what was it like for you uh, growing up in uh, South Korea? Growing, <clears throat> growing up, well, it's a long time ago. <laughs> Do you have any um, memories? I remember uh, I have an older brother, older sisters, but also we have uh, four boys mm -hmm. to the and one year apart each. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
I don't have much memory, but my the uh, housekeeper who stayed with us about 30, 40 years, she she told me uh, we were like a little uh, <laughs> puppies because uh, they were all, you know, all young. Yeah, young, uh -huh. and uh, she said it's a hard time to feed all four kids. So he had the milk in the big pan uh -huh. and give us a little cup and we <laughs> pick it up and <laughs> oh. so that, that's how I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember how did you feel uh, secure or insecure during those times? When we were little kids, uh, kids just playing. <clears throat> I remember we always uh, you know, they are. They don't have a big house like in America. Our houses. Uh, most we just so we play in the kids. Kids are playing in the street and outside, mm -hmm. and then they're rough. Mm. And people were a little bit rough, and but we have always four of us. Mm -hmm. So we gang up so nobody they can <laughs> <laughs> touch us. Ah. <laughs> so that's how I remember. Yeah, so uh, you yeah. felt protected in numbers. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and what did your family do for a living? Uh, I remember my father was um, worked for the city, and uh, then he retired. Then I think he spent uh, my recollection is most of the time helping. Uh, I mean, living with a grandfather, mm -hmm. and uh, we were living in Seoul and uh, I th we were a big family and I think uh, there's a quite age apart my older brother and the four little kids mm -hmm. so uh, pretty much I th remember those young period young mm -hmm. ages uh, mm -hmm. my sister-in-law was more like uh, uh, played the role of a uh, mother and mm -hmm. big brother was more like a, a father. This is a pretty mm -hmm. common in Orientals. Yes. Yeah. Big family, older brother take care of the younger, younger kids, mm -hmm. younger older sister take care of the yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of fun because uh, never idle moments because uh, we you know running around yeah. Uh -huh. So when you grew up, both grew up in in South Korea. Um, how did you celebrate uh, the holidays? Our major holidays are New Year's and the, they dress the, uh, all these costumes mm. and uh, visiting grandparents and some of the relatives. Mm -hmm. Then we bow then they always give us some money. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is a good part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> before that, usually they have a little ceremony. Right. Because we did a kind of a worshiping their uh -huh. ancestor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have kind of rituals and something like that. And then running around with a... Then another big celebration is uh, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so most of the... In our culture, those days in uh, Thanksgiving times, they visit their tombs of their ancestor, hmm. and many of the people in Seoul, their uh, ancestors' tombs are far away from the village, hmm. you know, in the countryside. Mm -hmm. So they go in and visit, hmm. and they always have food involved. Yeah. Right. So those are the. Nowadays, uh, okay, they have a different service, but, it's, but those are the most major. Mm -hmm. And also the death of the father or grandfather, uh, they have a kind of a rituals, mm -hmm. yeah. So how about you, Pearl? Common. Yeah, for the anniversaries. Sorry? Well, the celebrations are always um, a happy occasions because mm -hmm. I, the country was very, very poor for a very right, long time, right. and food was very scarce. Yeah. Yes. So those uh, celebration times, 
we would have a feast. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the uh, kids, they were dressed up in Korean costume like what I'm wearing. Right. And all the families that live uh, in different cities would come together. Right. And it's a good time to uh, visit. And uh, also the older par parents that live in a remote uh, country. Wow. Because Korea is agricultural country. Mm -hmm. So most of our ancestors are from the countryside. Mm. And they are involved in uh, agricultural mm -hmm. activities. So uh, it's a good time to go visit them. Mm -hmm. Yes. But now things have really changed. The children are very busy. They don't, live, they don't have a big family. They only have like one or two kids at the most. Mm -hmm. They live in the city, in the apartment, like a condominiums, like New York. Uh -huh. And uh, the, it's, but they still, uh, those two holidays, they try to observe. And right. they're probably the uh, biggest occasions for the families to get together. So how did you two uh, survive in terms of these occupations from different countries? Uh, what was that like? You know, like the communists and let's say the Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked in the back in the growing of years. Yes. Uh, I remember we, uh, of course, I was during the Japanese occupation. I was born and raised. Uh, we went to uh, uh, elementary school, and uh, you have to speak. Uh, Japanese mm -hmm. from the day one when you went to the school. Mm -hmm. So you are not allowed to speak Koreans anymore. Mm -hmm. And the very strict uh, disciplines. Yeah. Right. And um, uh, I remember because it was a war time, mm -hmm. uh, even though I was a uh, third grade, I have so uh, work. Uh, fixed the uh, uh, uniform, mm -hmm. military uniform, mm -hmm. put a, a button on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can so, you believe? Sewing it. <laughs> yeah, sewing. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, that was the... Then yeah. another things I remember when they... In the beginning of the Second World War, um, Japanese was a very, very, you know, successful. You know, they went to Manchuria and they occupied then part of the Chinese. Then when Southeast area mm -hmm. occupied other countries. And when they occupied Singapore, they gave us a small bowl, rubber bowl, because those South Asia produced the rubber. Uh, yeah, so they kind of were celebrating their victories, uh -huh. and they give us a little ball. Everybody, and that was a, we were, we, you know, we were just kids, so yes. happy we having the ball. <laughs> right, right, right. So that I remember. Uh, How about you? But, yeah. Um, well, I, I think I, I was born much later than he, he did. Yeah. And I probably by the time I was born, the uh, Korean War was ending. Oh, okay. Yeah. So my direct experience was a lot of kids with no fathers mm -hmm. and a lot of families with this, uh, their sons gone. Mm -hmm. um, every, every family has a story, very, mm -hmm. very sad stories. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I also met a lot of friends that uh, flee from the north, oh, okay. came to the south and uh, had to leave everything. Mm -hmm. back home and uh, some of them are without family. They yes. lost the family in the process of coming to right. the South. So, so, you know, I'm familiar with all those uh, mm -hmm. uh, very, very terrible war stories. Right. Yes. Right. And actually yeah. my mother uh, was, life was affected huge, mm -hmm. hugely because she became a widow when she was 29. Mm. Yeah. So how did the two of you meet? Oh, well, we were both in uh, Los Angeles. Oh, okay. And uh, my husband's high school reunion, they had it, uh, they had a party at the, one of the uh, friends' house. Mm -hmm. And at the time, my brother-in-law was visiting from Chicago. She, he also happened to go to the same high school. Uh -huh. So I drove them to the reunion party, and that's where I met my husband. Ah. 
Then everything happened, I guess. <laughs> and then everything happened. And you have some children. Yes. How many? Yes, we have, we have a daughter that lives in Costa Mesa. Uh -huh. One lives in D.C. One lives in uh, Temecula. Temecula. Yeah. Yes. And one of my son, actually, who lived in D.C., used to live in Africa for eight years. Wow. Yeah, so we were, um, we visited uh -huh. uh, four times. Wow. And uh, Africa remind me of old Korea. Mm. Yeah, even when I uh, got to Nairobi, mm -hmm. you know, all the streets, unpaved streets, and the kids playing on the streets. That reminds me of, uh, like in Korea in the mm -hmm. 70s, 60s. Sure, yeah, sure. 60s, yes. And, and uh, you have grandchildren, right? Yes, we have three boys and a girl, and oh, we're expecting twins by the end of this year. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How so wonderful. we're very excited about that. How wonderful. Yes. So you met in the United States. Yes. And what brought each of you to the United States? Well, I, I basically wanted to uh, go to school, mm -hmm. but I couldn't get the student status right after high school. Right. So I came to visit my sister who was living in Chicago uh -huh. as a visitor. Right. And then I went to language school. Mm -hmm. And from there I went to University of Illinois. We left University yeah. of Illinois. Yes, okay. and I study um, hospital dietetics. Oh, okay. I got my degrees. Uh -huh. Worked very, very hard. <laughs> yeah. But um, those were good times. Uh -huh. Yes. How about you, Young? I came in 1959. Mm -hmm. There was a, of course, that time Korea was still poor after the war, mm -hmm. and uh, still Korea was trying to recover from the war-torn countries, and um, I was able to come to the United States, and they uh, allowed to have one hundred dollars. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So I came in, I stopped in Japan and I liked the camera. So uh -huh. small Minota camera. Uh -huh. I paid sixteen dollars. <laughs> wow. So I have left yeah. uh Eighty-four dollars in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I was lucky. I had a sponsor, and he mm -hmm. was a very, very generous person, and mm -hmm. he uh, helped me first year of the schooling mm -hmm. and uh, uh, dormitory and so forth. So I, I came as a junior standing, mm -hmm. and for two years. Uh, I pretty much self-supported. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, those time was a very, uh, I, I I recall, country United States was a still wonderful country, <laughs> less uh, crimes, uh -huh. <laughs> less violation. Yeah. You know, uh, like you know, crime like these times. So, so anyway, so after uh, two get... years, so kind of a self-supported. Yeah. Then after then. I worked for a little bit, then I went back to graduate school. Mm -hmm. But uh, in graduate school, I was uh, lucky. Uh, I had uh, some scholarships. Mm -hmm. just, uh, and you got your PhD, right? Yeah, uh -huh. from uh, University of Southern California. Wow, that's yeah. a very nice school. Yeah. Um, so here you are in the United States. Mm -hmm. And where did you live before you came to um, Laguna Woods. Laguna Woods. <laughs> we lived in uh, Arizona. Oh, yeah. Tempe, Arizona. Tempe. Yeah. For for thirty three years. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Before okay. then, we lived in Orange County. Orange County uh -huh. for about yeah. ten uh -huh. years. Yeah. So, what made what brought you to uh, Laguna Woods? We were on the trip. Uh, then there was a. In the trip, there is a group of people, uh, Koreans, mm -hmm. who are living in Laguna Woods. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I learned about it. Yeah. Even though my younger brother used to live in... Uh, Lake Forest. Yeah, Lake Forest. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I didn't know it was there. So 
I came and uh, I guess we first ate the lunch uh, or something. At the golf course. At the golf course. <laughs> they said, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that did it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So since you've been here, you've been here how many years? Uh, we just finished our first year. Your first year, yes. okay. And are you involved in any activities? Um, yes, we have, uh, and I was so shocked to find out there's so many Koreans living here, and they uh -huh. have a lot of uh, activities uh, mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. So I joined their singing group. Mm -hmm. I joined their um, uh, the Spanish group, and I take mm -hmm. some classes from Saddleback as well. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, uh, and also the church uh, that's mm -hmm. uh, close by on Milton. Mm -hmm. There is a Korean Methodist church. Oh, at the size of uh, about 150. How interesting! Yeah, so very everything's so close. Yeah, you know, that's very nice. convenient. That's nice yeah. about living here. Yes. Yeah. How about you, Young? Yeah. Well, when I first moved in, uh, I really. Marvel, there are so many activities and kind of clubs, mm -hmm. uh, and then I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I first thing I did a little bit of a, a volunteer work <laughs> Good. Uh, at the Saddleback Hospital, mm -hmm. and I, I pushed the wheelchairs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how generous and, of you! And, and she did. Uh, uh, delivering. I, I also did uh, volunteer work at the uh, uh, senior center, uh -huh. delivering the meals on wheels. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, that way yeah. I yeah, I yeah. got to learn all the different uh, gates right. and the yeah. people because uh, we go visit them door to door, uh -huh. and that was it was a good experience, and I still do that. Good, good. Yeah. And it's so so wonderful <laughs> in Laguna Wood is. Uh, such a uh, pleasant environment, and only mm -hmm. that so many things so easily accessible, mm -hmm. you know? We just, uh, um, one minute to the clubhouse, you can swim, you can exercise, right. any lectures are available, and mm -hmm. uh, um, I love to hike, so I joined the hiking clubs. Wonderful. Yeah, and then also uh, we are actually involved, also a few, few of us, started a new group called mm -hmm. the Senior Bio, uh, yeah, oh, Bio Senior Group. Uh -huh. It says uh, all the folks, mostly 80 plus people, mm -hmm. getting together. Mm -hmm. and, okay. Uh, yeah. So I understand that uh, some food was prepared. Yeah, for, from your country. <laughs> yes, and very important. Food is very yeah, important. That's right. <laughs> yes, that's right. So. Can we uh, adjourn from this part of the interview and go over to where the food is? Sure. And so here we are at the dining table of uh, Young and Pearl's uh, home. And uh, we have these foods that are, first of all, look quite delicious and nutritious. And so, uh, Pearl, can you tell me a little bit about, uh, let's say, this dish? Yes, uh, well, I have prepared uh, two of the very popular uh, Korean uh, dishes. Mm -hmm. One is called bibimbap. Bap means rice, bibim means mixed. Uh -huh. So it's a rice uh, mixed with uh, uh, different mm -hmm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. So this is called chapche. These are the two very popular dishes in, uh, among Americans too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I know that in the restaurants, uh, I've run into many, many foreigners. They always either order bibimbap or chapche. We add the sauce before we eat and mix it together. And the reason I made it in a big bowl is because we are, I was going to feed about six or seven of us. Mm -hmm. But usually when you go in the restaurant, you will get a dish like this. And this mm -hmm. is for individual servings. Mm. And uh, there's a rice underneath, and they, there are different kind of vegetables. Right. And uh, beef, and for some reason, we always uh, add the eggs. Right. And what you see here, uh, probably many of you heard about Korean kimchi. Uh, kimchi is very, very uh, uh, famous food in Korean cuisine. Uh, there are 
over 100 different kind of kimchi. Ah. And it, what it is is a fermented um, cabbage. Sometimes mm. they make it with a radish. Sometimes they make it with uh, cucumbers of different kinds. But this one, I just made it about two days ago. You, sometimes they keep it in the refrigerator for over months. Mm. And uh, they like it uh, more fermented. Ah, okay. Where, but my husband, this is more American style. My husband likes it fresh, just like salad. Although mm. it looks hot, uh, we try to keep it mild over mm. some of these really? Korean foods. Really? Yes, yes. Okay. So, so let um, me ask uh, Young um, about his, do you have this every day? <laughs> Not really. Not really? <laughs> yeah. But there is a other popular one. So one is a bulgogi. Beef. Means a pool means a fire and kogi means a meat. Uh -huh. Yeah, marinated beef. Yeah. Mm. So that that's like a steak, but mm. the, uh, very thin, very yeah. thin steak. But, the, but this is another one is a kalbi. That means a rib. Uh, rib. Thank you for sharing, and uh, first of all for being so generous and opening your house to uh, to our crew and and to the people on Channel 6. And uh, till next time, mm -hmm. we'll uh, say adieu and uh, let's eat. Yes, and we call 감사합니다. Mm -hmm.